Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card with the Spellbinder Small Die of the Month Club Kit for July 2021. Now this month it's a card creator, which is fabulous, and it's for mini slimline cards. It's called the Decorative Mini Slimline Card Creator, and so we're going to make a mini slimline card, to, although this would be great too for a regular slimline, I have to say. This is the largest die. There are five cutting dies in total. Um, this creates a dotted and um, dashed lined outline. So pretty. I'm going to run this through the die cut machine with some beeswax cardstock. And this will fit a mini slimline card front beautifully. I like my mini slimline cards to be uh, three and a quarter inches by six and a quarter. I know they all vary. If you like your slightly larger, this will still fit beautifully. Um, this has so many elements that you can mix and match to create frames, outlines, um, with beautiful detail. This is a very, very detailed piece, and you can see it would frame your largest die. I'm not going to use that piece today. Um, I wanted to use the, the swirly one that was next in the die set. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to pop it up and we're going to layer this inside of our um, largest die. Now, if you don't want to use the largest die and just slim light, um, die cut this out in your slimline card base, it would be beautiful. Um, I'm also going to take the smallest die. It will actually cut out a background for the sentiment in this set. This is for you. Um, we're going to if you want a window in this panel too, put it on the inside and die cut this out all at once. I didn't want a window, I just wanted a panel that I could pop it up with. Now, the nice thing about this set is you can, um, I'm having the decorative edge on the bottom, but, but of course in the packaging it shows it on the top. If you want to make a card base out of this, you very well could too. So lots of, lots of versatility. And if you want to go full blown, layer them all together guys. It makes a beautiful background. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create my For You to layer on this. And to do that, I'm going to use some Glacier cardstock. Glacier is like a very pale blue. I'll put my, my um, outline first and then add the insert that says For You. And we'll run this through the die cutting machine. We'll just tape it down. Okay, our sentiment is good to go. You can see how pretty there's dotted detail around this as well and it layers perfectly. All those line, all those dots line up so you can see through it, which is nice too. I'm going to have a few that I didn't punch out, so I'm going to punch that out with my tool in one. So it's nice that a sentiment option is included also. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and create a card. Um, with, with card creators, it's very simple to create. Um, I am going to take some more of that Glacier card stock and just using the large die. I wanted another scalloped edge, so I'm just die cutting out a piece. It's crooked, you can see here, but um, it's going to be covered. I just wanted an extra, about a half inch showing with, or maybe three quarter inch with that, um, that bottom edge of our, our card creator. We're going to go ahead and use a tape runner to adhere our sentiment to our white panel. Okay, basically, after you have this adhered, um, all, the, all the dots will line up perfectly. So you can still see through them and it makes it really nice. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. We're going to add a little dimension to our For You with some foam tape. And then I'm not going to remo remove the release paper just yet. Um, we'll set that aside and work on our background. Now at this point, if you want to make a shaker card, you very well could. It's so pretty, but I'm going to go ahead and use my tape runner and layer these two together. But on the very bottom, I'm going to offset it. So I have some of that yellow, about half of an inch of that yellow um, peeking out in the very bottom, um, lining up those dots again so you can still see through them. The nice thing, now obviously this is not going to fit my card front, um, but I'm going to trim off the top. I thought we'd do something a little bit different with the die set this month. I'm going to take my glacier piece and this is going to go on the very bottom. We're going to add one more layer. Once this is adhered, I'm going to take some, um, well, let's trim this off real quick. I'm making sure when I trim this off that the detail on the very top is still pretty. So I'm basically going between the two heart shapes. 
that are on um, the front of this card. Now after this is trimmed down, I'm going to take some uh, pineapple smoothie gingham ribbon. This is such a pretty ribbon and I don't know if Spellbinder still has this or not. Um, if they do, I'll list it down below, but it's such a nice ribbon and it ties such pretty bows. I'm tying a bow off to the left and we'll just trim the tails of this. And do our other and then um, we'll take our sentiment. Actually, we'll flip this over. Let's pop this up and put it on our card base. I'm going to use some foam tape for this. This is where I'm going to bring in some dimension. Of course, if you don't want all this dimension, you can totally skip the foam tape and just use your, I would suggest maybe double sided tape because it would be a little bit stronger than your tape runner um, going over that ribbon. But I like dimension, so we're going to pop it up, lining up the very top edge to the top of our mini slimline card. And then we have lots of pretty layers on the very bottom. I love the way this looks. I just think it looks very feminine, almost princessy. <laughs> We're going to take our For You, adjust our bow, um, remove the release paper off of this and place this um, in the white area on our card front. And then basically that's it. Cause that's the great thing about card creators is um, Spellbinders does all the work for you. <laughs> I'm going to add some finishing touches, some bells and whistles. I'm using some color essential gems. These are the gold ones. And there's little dots, dotted detail um, on that, that lacy background. Um, when I trimmed it, um, some of these little pieces need to be glued down. So I just used my glue to tack those down so I can slide it in the envelope and they wouldn't lift up. But I'm going to win over the dots on that swirly background with my gems. And um, that finishes off my card for today, guys. I'm going to add one more to that heart. It didn't have a hole where the heart was, but I just thought it would give it a finishing touch. But if you're interested in the Small Die of the Month Club kit, it's down below. Spellbinder has some amazing kits, and this is one of them. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.